The best way to pay homage to the Buddha is twofold. One is offering lights, offering flowers, offering water, teas, offering incense, offering our body in prostration and homage. That is a wonderful way of paying homage to the Buddha. But that is just on an outer level. When we do that, when we show respect to the Buddha, we are creating an energy that we can become a Buddha in the future. When we show respect to the Buddha's body, we wish to achieve the Buddha's body, free of sickness. When we offer light to the Buddha, we are offering light that dispels darkness. Therefore, may wisdom come to us just like the Buddha. When we offer incense to the Buddha, it smells good. Because it smells good, may we be able to keep morality. When we have morality, we smell good. When we offer food and fruits to the Buddha, we pray that all beings on this planet, other planets, other dimensions, may be free from hunger, suffering, poverty, and disease. So in Buddhism, when we pay homage to the Buddha, the best way is not so much me, 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 it's more about others. On an inner level, the supreme way to pay homage to the Buddha is to lessen all the qualities in you that bring grief, suffering, strife, difficulties to people around you. If we don't have a temple near us, and we can't get to a temple, we can have a personal shrine in our home. We have a beautiful image of Lord Buddha. We are not praying to the statue. We are not praying to the this image. We are using the image to remind us of the perfect Buddha. So therefore, we can have a beautiful shrine at home. We can offer flowers. We can offer some pure water and some incense, make prostrations, sit in front of our altar. If we're older, on a chair. If we're younger, on the floor comfortably. And we can chant some sutras or some prayers according to our own beautiful traditions. Every country has their tradition. If you're Japanese, chant in Japanese. If you're Tibetan, chant in Tibetan. If you're Chinese, if you're English, chant in English. Whatever you like. And then meditate carefully. That's the outer celebration. The inner celebration is think carefully. This past year, before Wesak, what have I been doing that has brought harm to others? What have people reminded me? Why do I do that? Think. I will pay homage to the Buddha by transforming that negative quality in my mind so I create less suffering. Then you make a promise to the Buddha. That's the best way to celebrate Wesak Day.